Howdy folks, my name is Lanso90 and welcome back to the Let's Play, or my tutorial series for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Get ready for me saying that a lot, because it's just gonna happen that way, you know? Let's try to go downstairs. The thing about going up and down stairs... What the hell? Where did you come from? It's a freaking zombie dog down here too. So you saw things were able to go up the stairs, however they do like lose track of you like way, way faster going up and down stairs. That's why only a few things got out, I think. Of course now things are going to be after us again. There we go. Dogs are fast. I don't know if I can get to a door in time, seeing if I can get them stuck on something else. Probably not safely. We can run, but we also want stamina to actually fight it. Let's run. But yeah, zombie dogs much faster than regular zombies. As you can see, he's keeping up with us at a run, so. Let's toggle our walk. He even skipped us a step there, huh? Not so fast when you're slowed by four times by being in the window, though, huh? Of course, dogs don't really drop anything. I'm gonna go around the corner and catch my breath, though. Hello. That zombie actually figured out where I was. Kind of surprised. I'm stuck in a bush, though. Yeah, this the cudgel is so good. Because every time we crit, we're stunning them. That's fantastic. I need to get that. <laughs> need to get that crowbar. And once again, going to attempt to catch my breath. There we go. Surprised more zombies haven't been attracted by all the noise we're making. Hello, cockroach. Where are your zombified friends at? This is a cockroach nymph down here. They don't really attack you, but they grow into giant cockroaches if you leave them alone. They're also rather quick and hard to catch. Oh, there they are. Are they not aggroing me? Create white wall. I don't really... There's something behind the concrete. So the, uh, the skittering plagues actually seem to be less aggressive than regular cockroaches, which is pretty weird. It's the door I want to pop open with a... Oh, hello, sir. It's going to get you stuck on ye old windowsill. Oh, bonk, bonk, bonk. Obviously, all the time that we're fighting creatures, our melee skill is going up. Let's see here. Hey, I see melee is at 99% experience to the next level. Oh, actually, dodging is showing you, like, its actual score. That's actually really helpful, because it used to be your dodging was just shown by level. So I always assumed, like, up here, like, it lowers your dodge skill. I was like, geez... It never used to be in points either, by the way. It used to be the minimum was like minus one. So it'd be like, ah, oh, geez, I got two points of dodging and I'm getting minus one from really low encumbrance. But it's like, no, it looks like two is getting us nine. So like 4.5% per level for dodge. But that's nice that that's there. Uh, looks like bashing weapons recently went up to level three too. That's probably why we're doing pretty good now. Why we're seeing... A lot more critical hits. Yeah, just just a few more kills and we should have the melee up too, and that's gonna help even more. Looks like we have made the zombies wander a little bit. So let's try to get this feral human. Here he comes. Uh, let's use this fence. We already found these bushes earlier. He's probably gonna throw a rock at us. Dang, you just for eight damage with a friggin' rock. 
You're really not gonna walk into the bush, man? Bro. Get stuck in a bush, son. Bro, run out of... Run out of friggin'... Stop throwing rocks, you piece of crap. Dang, they're actually pretty freaking deadly with those rocks. Son of a goat. The torso just got bodied. Need better medical skill. So we can bandage it better. That might be the end of our run today then, because we are getting pretty beat up. It's mainly our torso. We don't have good armor. We're going to have to... We'll probably just have to settle for wearing some pretty beat up clothing. Even though we can't repair like a weather duster, we're going to have to just wash it and wear it, I guess. Oh yeah, I can't carry the crowbar. I have to drop my cudgel. Oh, we were running around with our headlight on. Always got to check for that. I got to remember where this leather duster is. I know we found one over here. I think we tore it apart. But there is another one somewhere. Might want to grab those flints real quick, too. Might be a little bit of... Might as well grab the rocks, too, and the flints. Okay, I was wondering what that was, and I remember... Oh, that's where we burnt a bush down. Other leather jacket must be over here. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, leather duster. All right, so Heelys are interesting. Any kind of like Heelys or roller blades. Um, there's a way to. I don't know if you have to activate them. I guess the rollerblades probably don't have to be activated to do this work. I've never actually used them, but apparently these can make you go really fast on flat terrain. The cost is that you're really bad at uh, dodging when you're in them. And I bet Heelys flip back and forth by activating them. However, for me... I am curious. Let's see. But yeah, for me, I'd rather just wear the steel toed boots because they're so good. I gotta quickly butcher this cockroach and see if it has chitin on it. It does. So, chitin is used for a lot of uh, armor later. I don't think we know how to make it yet, but also this mutant meat and stuff is how we get like the endochitin. I wonder what this is for. Tube snake chitin inside a giant bug. Hmm. Anyway, these mutant meats and stuff is where you get like uh, boosted. You can like turn them into like syringes once you find the books for like these really high level mutagens. Then you can mutate yourself. I don't know if we want to mutate into a cockroach, but probably not. I'll drop all this stuff over here. The sinew is in red because it actually can go bad. But it can be used as like thread in some recipes, so that's why I grabbed it. Drop off our, our trinkets and baubles. Glittering gold trinkets and baubles. Then we'll drop off the leather duster. Another belt. They're going to need to be washed. All these are in our cargo pants, so we know there's stuff we want to keep. Well, the sewing kit's a bit of a different situation. And we gotta keep the knife around. So, let's go wash the uh, belt so we can take care of this. Actually, just wash all this. Probably not this rag, just because it's by itself. I don't think it's an efficient use of uh, our detergent supplies. See if we can do it without using the other stuff. Just gonna drop the filthy rag outside. 
Activate washing kit. There you go. Washed your items. This doesn't make sense to wash a rag because if we go disassemble a bed, we can get like hundreds of rags out of it. All right, drop, drop the soap. All right, we could probably wear this leather belt now. See, it has one liter of storage, but what I'm most interested in. Drop the carving knife, drop the... Oh, there's stuff in the rucksack. I guess that's fine. How about if I activate, I'm going to press activate, and there's the leather belt. See the other belt's up at the top, it's used as holster. We're going to activate it. It's only letting us pick our cudgel. What if I put the carving knife in my hand? Activate leather belt. Okay, I guess... For some reason, the carving knife won't go in there. The cudgel can. It's not exactly what we're looking for, though. We can leave the belt on, though, because its layering is fine. It should be on our legs, technically. Well, maybe not. Torso? Kind of weird. It's on the waist, though. It has its, waist has its own layer. There's waist on your legs and waist on your torso. It's kind of interesting. But because he actually has zero encumbrance here and actually has 5% coverage. So it's not weighing us down at all, but it's actually covering, has a 5% chance to get hit. And actually has decent defenses on it. So it's actually not too bad. I think we can stick other things in there. Like now that we're closer to our other tools. I don't know. I wonder why the cudgel can go in there. What else can fit in you then? Can be stored in. Total capacity. I guess it's the maximum item length, huh? Item must be able to clip onto a belt loop, I guess. We might be able to make like some kind of mod for this tool. That allows it to be equipped. Take looks around here. Again, I would like to see. Drop off our washing kit. like to see if we could repair this duster. Not really. Could try. It'd not be very likely, though. Yeah, the rest of that was out of our reach as well. Next step, I do know our torso is getting absolutely destroyed, so we need to think about... For one thing, we could just wear the duster. Well, it's not even a good fit. Eh. Stats aren't even really that good, to be honest with you. Assuming the same was true for the leather pants that we couldn't really... Yeah, not really. Honestly, probably better off just butchering them. using the leather to make uh, leather armor once it's available. Let's see, I'm just kind of looking down here, seeing if the armor's there. It's not. Built a tunic? No. Hoodie. Very warm leather apron. Hmm. Take a whole day to craft it. <laughs> That's insane. Take a look at what these other books are to see if it opens up new recipes. Probably won't be any armor, though, which is what we're really looking for. Build a bow. 
the basic bow is not great though armor helmet but we don't really need the helmet net backpack it's like an axe ring holster wonder if it would only support axes or if it would fit things that are longer maximum length of 39 inches that has to fit an axe sheet though so it is specifically an axe we still need them all though let's maybe just work on some of our tools here we can make a bis uh, distaff and spindle it's not exactly the most important thing but it allows us to spin like a thread into thread into rope and stuff like that I can't actually carry that. Kind of surprising. We'll just move it to our tool set that way. More tools. Survival marker, not necessary. Hand drill. Shouldn't be necessary. Let me look here. Do, 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 do. Looks like it's actually not in the toolbox, so actually, we might need it. Butchering, wood sawing. Oh, interesting. The hammer has prying quality now. That makes sense. It actually does. I guess we do need this. It has taken an hour, though, so let's like some other options here. Knitting needles. You need this for wool crafting. So we'll craft it, drop it. I guess headlamps are easy to craft, so it wasn't that good of a find, huh? <laughs> it's okay. Fish hook. There's the makeshift crowbar. This used to be the thing, man. This used to be the thing. Oh, you know what? We can just craft a screwdriver. Go for it. Absolutely. Uh, might as well use a plank. Now, I bet I can make the awl. It might be there, but my eyes are having trouble focusing. <laughs> There's our all. Oh, you can see it's getting darker. You see how the shadows are moving? Steel sewing all. Has level two all quality. But what else? Wah wah wee wah. Now, I bet we got all sorts of new stuff opened up, huh? Oh, a leather cloak might work. Has low coverage. Actually, the suit actually under some stuff here. More rags, we can make a gambeson. Don't get distracted by this. You'll see that there's stuff like chain mail. You're like, holy crap, why don't we just move on to freaking chain mail? It's lying to you. It's saying you can make chain mail if. It's saying you can make a chain mail suit, which is the suit category of stuff that covers like multiple parts of your body. My game is lagging out for some reason. It's not letting me arrow down. Anyway, the suit section is things that cover your whole body. So it's saying if you have the stuff that covers individual parts of your body, you can combine them into the suits that cover the whole thing. But that doesn't mean you can craft the individual pieces. We can make like the union suit or the rag tunic. Some of this more basic stuff. Wool cloak. The gamison's good though. It is really hot though try to make it we can also try to make like a nomad gear can only make the the light set but a tunic cargo shorts tack vests fanny pack we can make most of this stuff we can make this which isn't as warm but has the same coverage a little less protection does have environmental protection or you can make the cloak. It is even warmer than the Gamison, though, so I don't know about that. So that might be what we go for. But we also have, like, armored fingerless gloves now. 
You can see the coverage is pretty bad on them though. Are we wearing leather gloves now? We are. We got one protection on our hands. And this is a lot of the game, by the way, is <laughs> just like going forth between your what you do have and what you don't have, what you could craft and figuring out what's going to be the best. So yeah, these have half the coverage, but twice the protection, basically. Then just like leather armor gauntlets, which are even stronger, but also fairly low coverage. We also have the work gloves, which have very high coverage, but are pretty encumbering. Chaps, other pants. Let's see what else we've got here. Do -do. Nail punch, level two punch quality. Don't think we have that, so I'm just gonna craft it. Why not? Just get our basic tools available. That might as well drop the sewing kit for now too. We only need the sewing kit in our inventory in order to quickly uh, prepare items. It's not really necessary for going through all this. A rock drill and soft tampering. I think we have either. Why not? Just get those available. Let's see that we have a tailoring kit is in our ability to craft. We just need more parts. The tailoring kit's even better than the sewing kit. We're going to need our sewing kit, which I think we just have to pull the thread out to get that to be there. A curved needle and plastic chunks. Plastic chunks are easy to find if we break like uh, potted plants indoors. We can get those. Or I think if we cut up like the crappy... FEMA sheet. I think we get plastic out of it. A curved needle is a little different. Curved. Cannot make a curved needle. That's okay. Oh, so we have the camera now too, which we should play around with that. We can compare the filter mask to our motorcycle helmet. See, it has really high environmental and acid protection when it's active. Otherwise, it's weaker. And it's actually more encumbrance on our mouth than this, which is kind of shocking to me. I'm going to keep it around. So it might be useful, but it actually isn't as helpful as I thought it might be. If we go back to, like, our weapon section, we do have, like, shoulder straps... Does say it, it doesn't say it'll work on like our tools though. Let's see if we maybe have options here. Unwields targets weapon. That's interesting. Getting ahead of myself though, reading through those. Gonna build the short bow here eventually. Shoulder straps just for weapons. Not really seeing too much else there. That might help us with some of our other issues. See, we can actually make some sandwiches and stuff. Oop, we're actually tired. Moderate pain. We're about to become even less, even more weary than light. It is about to be dark. So, probably in the next episode we'll be sleeping. But speaking of sleeping, I need to go to sleep now. I can feel my brain slowing down. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, hope you have a good day.